The Mustard Seed Media video podcast is sponsored and created by Mustard Seed Media, Inc., creating and developing media and web for tomorrow's Christian ministries. On the web at mustardseedmedia.com. Okay, so let's open up Drupal.org and let's do a little CMS magic. Okay, so let's start with this Photoshop document here and let's turn this thing into a website. Let's get right down to it and edit some CSS, shall we? Welcome to the Mustard Seed Media Video Podcast. My name is Bob, and this is the podcast for Drupal Web Designers. Yes, we are back after many weeks off for the holiday season. Happy 2009 to everybody out there. Hopefully your holidays were swell. We're going to start back up with our Drupalness this week by talking about how to create new variables for your template files. This is very easy to do in Drupal 6, and we're going to cover it uh, and show you how easy it is. Why do you want to create new variables for your template files, you might be asking? You want to do this to really clean up your code. Uh, the idea is that you shouldn't really have much logic at all, uh, if statements and, and PHP, different PHP stuff, uh, in your template files. Instead, your template files should be very clean, so they're very readable and they're very easy to organize and look at real quick and see what you need to do. All of the logic like that for a theme should be contained in the template.php file. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna uh, move a bunch of logic from a page.tpl file into the template.php, turn that into a variable, and then just print that variable very simply in our page.tpl file. Uh, before I do all that though, I wanna point out that my example today probably isn't the best example. I'm gonna be showing uh, the example uh, I, the example that I'm going to be using is basically to provide some new menu items. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's better ways to do this uh, using a module, uh, but I'm going to do it just in the theme today, uh, just as an example. So don't do what I'm about to do. Uh, just uh, take it as an example of how to create a new variable uh, for your template files. So let's dig right in. Uh, the first thing I'm going to show you here is uh, a node over on Drupal.org. Go to Drupal.org slash node slash 223430. And this talks about exactly what we're doing today, setting up variables for use in a template. I want to direct your attention down to this section right here. These are all the different function names you can use to provide a variable. Uh, and uh, we're going to use this one right here today. We're going to use engine name preprocess hook, but uh, I encourage you to go and look through these to see what different options you have. Uh, the other note is that what we're doing today only works in Drupal 6. This is brand new to Drupal 6, does not work in Drupal 5. They provided variables in a very different way in Drupal 5. So let's look first at what we're going to do. I'm just on my test site here and I'm logged in and I want to direct your attention up to this top right corner. I've got two menu items and you'll notice that these are specific to a logged in user uh, because they are my account and my posts. If we log out those menu items change to log in and register. So uh, what we're going to do today is uh, show you how to uh, move some of this stuff out of, uh, I got a bunch of logic that's doing this, out of the page.tpl file into your template.php and create a variable. So let's look at that page.tpl. This is the section right here that provides those menu items, those links. Let's look at what it does real quick. Uh, just wrapped in a nav, uh, we, we're creating an unordered list, and then we call it global user, which is basically the user that is on the site at that time, uh, the user that's looking at the page, and we say if their user ID is zero, which means they are not logged into the site, give them a login link and a register link. Uh, otherwise, if they're logged in, give them a my account and a my post link. The problem is, look at all this stuff. Uh, we've got a PHP logic, we've got a whole bunch of other stuff that really shouldn't be in the uh, page.tpl file. This is the kind of stuff that belongs in the template.php file. So we're gonna move it there and we are going to uh, create a simple variable that we can print in our page.tpl file. So the first thing we're gonna do is create that template.php file. If you don't already have one, we're going to create a new file called template.php and we're going to start it with an opening PHP statement. Uh, you don't have to close your PHP uh, statement uh, in your template.php file. So we're going to start with that and then I'm going to put in some code here from my code library that is to provide a new variable. You'll uh, remember that I said we're going to use PHP template process hook. Now uh, the thing to notice here is this is the theme engine I'm using. Uh, this is where you can change some things based on the Drupal.org page. I could name this my, uh, my theme name. I'm using the super clean theme, so I could do that. Then these processes would only be available to that theme in particular. I'm going to keep it generic and use PHP template. 
Uh, and then I have to replace this hook part with uh, basically the hook that I want this variable available in. Us themers and us regular folks that aren't uh, PHP or Drupal gurus, uh, we don't write modules, we don't really understand the hook system start to finish. Uh, what this means is this is the template file, uh, more or less the template file that I want my variable available in. So we're going to make it available in page.tpl.php. That's the page hook. If we wanted it available in our node.tpl, that would be the node hook. Uh, so you can go through and look at a bunch of hooks uh, and see how those relate directly to your, uh, your template files. But for today, we're going to make it available in the page.tpl.php, so that is the page hook we're going to put this in. Now, ignore this part for right now, and what we're looking at here is this is the other crucial part. This defines our variable name, so we're going to have variables and then variable name. Uh, I'm going to call this user navigation. Uh, so this is the actual name of the variable that I'm going to print. And then I'm setting that to output. Right now, output does not exist. So let's go ahead and create that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab all of my logic, all of my content, and I'm going to get rid of it out of page.tpl and paste it in here. Now, I'm going to have to reformat this a little bit so uh, that it works well with PHP. So I'm going to do that, uh, and uh, you can come back when I'm done. OK, so all I've done is I've marked up my content here. Uh, in a little bit more PHP friendly way. I've simply gone through and I've built my output variable. Uh, I've started with some, some uh, just some string text here, uh, some HTML. Uh, I've started to build my output uh, using an if statement if they're logged in. Uh, and then I finally built my, the end of my output. And then all I'm doing is all of that content is being sent to the output variable. So let's save that. And then let's go back to our page.tpl. And where we want that info to show up, we're going to print our variable and save it. Now, right now, if we uh, refreshed, we would get nothing. Uh, and the reason is uh, we, we basically get the same thing we had before. And the reason is because we need to rebuild our theme registry. So we're just going to go to our theme page. And we're going to save that. And now we can be sure that this is actually using our new variable. So if we go in and we delete our variable, we will see that our content disappears. If we put it back, then it reappears. And so basically what we've done is we've cleaned up our template or our page.tpl file a whole lot, uh, getting it down to one line and moving all of our logic over to the template.php file providing a new variable called user underscore navigation. So that is how you create new variables in Drupal 6 for your theme. Very easy to do. The options here are endless. Uh, so uh, go ahead and play around with it. If you have questions, uh, we're over at mustardseedmedia.com slash podcast. Uh, you can leave a comment for us there. Uh, also, don't forget to check out my audio podcast over at geeksandgod.com. That's it for this week. We will see you next week with a new Mustard Seed Media video podcast. Bye-bye.